Welcome to Tiger Stop. Today we're going to show some basic functions on the saw gear. Okay, so we're going to go through some of the basic functions on a saw gear. So we can enter in any kind of dimension that we want in, in many different ways. So first thing that we'll do is run through that. So let's say that we run, want to run out to two foot, four inch, and three eighths. That's something that we can do in a couple different ways. So one way is by pressing two foot, four inch, and then typing out three eighths and pressing start. Now that shows as two foot, four inch, and three eighths on the screen. Another way that we can move uh, is by typing out the inches, say, let's go to 36 inches, and then type in our fraction. So that works as well. Uh, the final way to show that is by moving and typing in a decimal. Pressing start. So all three of those ways we can read and move accurately and quickly into position. The next thing that we're going to show is changing quickly from standard to metric or imperial to metric. So to do that, we're going to press the soft power key, press the Z button, and then it'll come up and ask us if we want to change to metric or inches by pressing X or Y. So we'll press X to go to metric and we're immediately there. Now, if you have an older model saw gear and that does not work, the same thing will be true, except you're going to press the soft power key and then the foot button. So let's go ahead and change back over to Imperial or Standard. We're going to press that soft power key, the Z button, and this time we'll press Y for inches. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to show how to build a list. The next thing that we're going to show with saw gear is how to enter a list. Saw gear holds up to 10 lists with 10 parts each. So we can actually store up to 100 parts inside of the saw gear. So to access the list, you simply press list on the keypad. We're going to go into list five and press start. It says empty cut, number one. So we'll enter in the distance that we want it to go to. So we'll press five, we'll press start. It'll move to that position. We need to press start again for that to move to the next, uh, next position we want to move to. So for this one, we'll move to 6.25 and press start. Again, it will move to that position. We press start again to move to the third and you continue to go through. So uh, you can fill up to 10 parts in any given list and you have 10 lists. So to back out, you simply hit stop. And if you want to go back to that list, Simply press list, five, and there are the parts that we have to move to the next one. You just press start. One of the uh, more useful things that I found on saw gear, depending on your application, is the ability to use these arrow keys. So we can actually hit the calibrate button and calibrate that however we want. So if we hit calibrate and then press the arrow key, it asks us to uh, enter in what the increment is, or it shows us what that increment is. Now. When it comes stock from the factory, that's set at 0 .031. That's so that we can nudge it just a little bit in case your part's just a little bit off. But what I like to do is put that at, say, 2.5 inches, press start, and then when you press your arrow key, you'll actually move 2.5 inches every time you press it. So this allows you to use your increment button and change what that value is. Saw gear is commonly used in industrial applications in factories all over the world. It's being used for measuring for drills, for saws, for iron workers, for punches. Uh, saw gear is being used with metal, with wood, with plastics, uh, with any kind of composites. So at any point when you need to pull out a tape measure, you need fast, accurate measurements, we can put a saw gear in place and help you with that process.